On the left you will find the list of scales. There are many factory ones, but you can create new ones. Select the 12 notes that make up your scale and then save it to add it to the list. You will also find a list of note layouts and you can create new ones. These can be either isomorphic, where the intervals between keys are the same across the entire keyboard with scales displayed on them, or free where each key has a specific value and color. You can also change the direction of the axis of expressivity. Then save your layout to add it to the list. Finally, if you mostly play with a particular note layout, you can set it as default by right-clicking on it. You can customize the key response curves from the main menu. Feel free to create an armor track to test your changes live. Changes are saved to the keyboard when you close the editor. From the main menu of the app, you can edit the scales and note layouts stored on the keyboard. as well as the values sent by the buttons and encoders. Changes are saved to the keyboard when you close the editor.